hello everyone, a pillow here coming to you from the superior superior platform that is YouTube. Today we will be talking about TikTok, unfortunately. We will be talking about them. However, we will be doing it in a very good way. So recently uh, members of the TikTok executive force were called into Congress and questioned by a bunch of Congress members about TikTok's ties to the Chinese government and whatnot. To those of you who somehow do not know, TikTok is basically like new Vine. And if you don't know what Vine is, short form video content, it's typically funny, doesn't have to be, etc., etc. TikTok is very popular. I am a TikTok user. I find it very fun at times. It is a good way to waste and pass time. However, a lot of people do not like TikTok, mainly in the government, because of TikTok's ties to um, China. It is a Chinese app um, ran by a American subsidiary of a Chinese company. Uh, and a lot of people are suspicious of that, namely the government. Now, I'm going to go ahead and give my opinions on this. The main argument made by the government is that TikTok is spying on Americans. Uh, for the Chinese government. And to that, I would like to say I do trust the US government's opinion on that just due to the US government's um, entire thing of uh, spying on American citizens. You know, it takes a spy to know a spy. I'm not shocked that they do this in the slightest at all. It makes perfect sense to me. Perfect sense to me. Um, however, I think that the idea that we should ban TikTok is dumb, so people have thankfully compiled for us some very stupid questions that Congress has asked concerning TikTok to TikTok execs. So uh, here's, a, here's a compilation of these stupid, stupid little questions. So let's, let's jump into it. Uh, thankfully after a little bit of a cut that y'all might have seen. We have a compilation of uh, some stupid questions that Congress asked TikTok executives. So let's all react to this together. And my last point is this. I want to say this to all the teenagers out there and, and TikTok influencers who think we're just old and out of touch and don't know what we're talking about. Can you tell me right now, can you say with 100% certainty that TikTok does not use the phone's camera to determine whether the content that elicits a pupil dilation should be amplified by the algorithm? Can you tell me that? We do not collect body, face, or voice data. Hold up. I accidentally skipped to the end. With 100% certainty that TikTok these. does not use the phone's camera to determine whether the content that elicits a pupil dilation should be amplified by the algorithm. Can you tell me that? We do not collect body, face, or voice data to identify our users. We do not. The, the, the yeah, only but you, you don't? The, no. The only face data that you get, that we collect, is when you use we the filters to have, have collecting say, idiots sunglasses on your face, we need to know where your eyes are. And Why that, do you need it, to know where the eyes are? But this man just made like a really good point. Dark. Is when you use the filters to have, say, sunglasses on your face, we need to know where your eyes are. And Why that, do you need it, to know what the eyes are and, if you're not seeing if they're dilated? And, and that data is stored on your local device and deleted after use if you use it for facial. Has TikTok at any time fed precise GPS information collected from U.S. users into algorithms? No, I'm happy. Logo logarithms. Logo logarithms. Fied by the algorithm. Can you tell me that? We do not. The, the, the yeah, only thing you, you don't you, you use are your local device precise GPS information collected from US users into algorithms. No, I'm happy to talk today to make inferences Allegorums, about indeed. users. Has TikTok at any time provided the Chinese government with either precise GSP information collected from the US users or inferences made from that data? That I can give you a straight up no. Mr. Chu, does TikTok access the home <laughs> no. Wi-Fi network? 
Only if the user turns on the Wi-Fi. I, I'm sorry, I may not understand the. So if I have a TikTok the... app on my phone and my phone is on my home Wi-Fi, oh god, he's from my state. Access that network. You will have to to access the network to get connections to the internet. If, if that's the question. So, uh, as we've all displayed, Congress is full of um, fucking idiots, which is absolute dumbasses, just dunderheads. Absolutely. Um, the CEOs really... Yeah, no, genuinely. Um, and this is something that I want to go into. Okay? TikTok. And also, let me cut this down real quick. And y'all tell me if that's louder than me. TikTok is a platform. I'm just gonna cut it off. TikTok is a platform like any other platform. The issue that the US government, I'll tell you the issue that US government has over TikTok. And this is something, and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna sound really tankyish saying this, but unironically, a lot of the issues that the US government has with TikTok is anti-Chinese xenophobia because TikTok is a Chinese app and the US government has no direct power or control over it. So they are going overboard saying, oh my God, they're spying on me. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And like having a fucking collective stroke over this shit. And like, is TikTok spying on you? Yes. Yes, it's a social me- Every- What you are watching me on right now actively spies on you to figure out what you like so that they can push you more content to keep you on there so that you can keep watching ads. Duh. Obviously. But you saw it in the questions there. Sorry. You saw it in the questions there. They were making TikTok seem- far more sinister than they actually are. Like the guy with the eye tracking thing like, oh, does like TikTok track the dilation of your pupils to like see if you are interested in the con- No. You know how TikTok sees if you're interested in the content? You open up the search bar, you search certain keywords, TikTok takes that, goes, okay, this person, this is when you first get a TikTok account. And they'll also like throw content at you to see if you like it and whatnot. But like, when you get a TikTok account, you go to the search bar, you search up some things that you might want to see, and then TikTok goes, oh, this person seems to want to see this content, or oh, this person seems to have responded um, to this content that we're pushing at them. Okay, let's push a little bit more of this. And maybe a slight variation. Okay, they didn't like the slight variation. Okay, let's move maybe this variation. Okay, they like this variation. Okay, let's push more stuff like this. And going forward, literally every single platform does that. That's how you retain viewers. You find out what people like to watch and you push that. Duh. That's how every platform does this that's what i do i look at my analytics i see what people like for me to cover and then i cover more of that because that's how you get you cater to what people want to see that's what you do but they're acting like tiktok is using some like fucking science to figure out what people like they don't need to they're just using current trends they're just doing what literally every other company does same thing with the wi-fi question oh it's like tiktok connected to wi-fi and and the fucking i'm i don't know if that was the ceo of tiktok um i can check right quick CEO. his last i think that was him yeah that was the tiktok ceo um, like, the CEO of TikTok, like, I don't blame him for being fucking, um, like, bewildered by any of those questions, because, like, does TikTok connect to Wi-Fi? Yeah, yeah, if, if you decide to use, like, a Wi-Fi connection as opposed to a data connection, yeah, as with, like, any other, like, <laughs> it is so, 
And again, unironically, um, Jesus makes a very, very good point there. Like, this is fear-mongering, flat out. TikTok does nothing different than any other platform. Honestly, the only difference is what governmental body they um, respond to. And if I'm keeping it 100% honest, would I rather maybe recommended content from the Chinese Communist Party um, and the government of China or be recommended content from the United States government? I'm going to be 100% honest. I would prefer my content to favor a government that I don't live under. Because, don't get me wrong, China, not a good country. But I would much rather be propagandized to by a country that is not the one that I live in than the one that I live in. Because if it's the one that I live in, that propaganda is going to have much more if it did get into me, which I'm very skeptical about the things that I see. And even then, most of the shit that I see on TikTok are art videos and gay shit. Because I like art videos and, and, and I like gay shit. Like, literally, the serious thing about TikTok is how hyper-specific the algorithm gets. Because sometimes I'll be thinking about something, and then TikTok will be like... And then it'll just drop it on me, and I'm like... That's the only scary thing. Like... It's... It's sad to see this level of idiocy from the US government. Genuinely. If you want to combat social media companies taking the data of users quite frankly don't be a fucking idiot about it because there are better ways to do this hey how about this stop using targeted advertising against people that's wrong i'm fine with that but getting on tiktok for what filters and like using your camera if you consent to using your camera and allowing you to location tag your own videos if you want. And again, it would be one thing if the government banned TikTok from government issued phones for like government workers. Do you want to do that? Perfectly fine. I am perfectly fine with that. Ban Facebook too. Ban social media platforms off of government issued phones. I do not care. I do not care if those are work phones. If you want people to use those as work phones, go right ahead. I don't care. But trying to get it banned for the general populace? No. Um, trying to paint it as some sinister thing compared to other things? No. And once again, I genuinely think that the issue that the government has against TikTok emerges from um, like a form of xenophobia. Because you don't see the same energy being taken to platforms like YouTube. You don't see the same energy being taken to platforms like Twitter. You don't see the same energy taking against platforms like, um, like Facebook. And like, have those platforms gone to trial in front of Congress before? I mean, not trial, but have they testified in front of Congress before? Yes. They have. But they didn't get answers. I mean, they didn't get questions this stupid and this leading and this obviously trying to paint them as um, a bad company. Because I've watched those trials before. Those questions that they asked were a lot more pointed. Like questions like, hey, how do these algorithms work? What feeds into these algorithms? What data do you take from users? How do you use that data? Those were the kinds of questions that were asked at like the Facebook hearings where Mark Zuckerberg was at, which spawned a lot of meme images. Same thing with Twitter when Jack Dorsey testified. Those are questions that you should be asking the CEO of TikTok, not does does TikTok look at your eyes to see if you're like interested in the con like no, obviously not. One of the most disturbing things of the first time they tried to ban it was 
you try to force them to sell it to Oracle, which is the apex patent troll, and yeah. Like, it's not about um, TikTok taking user data. It's about TikTok not having a direct line to the U.S. government, flat out. That is what I think. I think the reason why the U.S. government is so against TikTok right now is just because they have a significantly harder issue um, actually monitoring the data collection made by TikTok due to the fact that TikTok is a foreign company, flat out. Like, I think that's just the issue that the U.S. government has with them, which is why they're perfectly fine with TikTok just being sold to a different U.S.-based entity. It's not because, oh, we would just prefer the servers to be in the U.S. so that, like, we can ensure people are protected. The government doesn't care about fucking protecting you. It's the U.S. fucking government. They don't give a shit about you. They don't give a shit about you. It's literally just a matter of fucking control. It's a matter of control, flat out. But yeah, so, if you want to use TikTok, use TikTok. Okay, if you don't want to use TikTok, I can respect it. Is TikTok spying on you? Obviously. Obviously. Hey. I still use it. Because I don't care. I know I'm already being spied on. U.S. government spying on me. YouTube is spying me. Literally every social media platform that you use is taking data on you to push you content that you like. Is it sinister? Yes. But is it clandestine? No. That's how these things operate. It's not a secret. And if it is a secret, it's very poorly kept. Just critically think. Use your noggin. Weigh whether or not you're willing to... Um, let your data be taken like that, flat out. With that being said, if you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, share it. If you like to share it, maybe on TikTok, I don't know. I don't have a TikTok um, page that I use for YouTube related stuff, so you can share it there if you want. And I love you all. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.